Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here. And today I want to talk about how to fish docks efficiently. Uh, maybe you don't fish docks at all because you just feel like you're wasting time or you're not good enough around the docks. Well, the method I use helps me kind of cover water quickly, fish high productive areas efficiently. And especially for you kayak anglers that, you know, don't want to waste a lot of time moving around the docks. Um, this should help you uh, kind of cover that water quickly and dial into a pattern a little bit quicker. Let's get into it. Basically all I'm doing here is fishing between docks. So you can see here on this spot, I have a subtle rock hump that stuck out, stuck out. It was a little rock jetty, uh, nothing that you could really see from the map. It was just from fishing that bank that I could find it. Um, but there was uh, three fish that I've caught off this spot. So all I'm doing is basically fishing in between the docks. I'm fishing the docks, but I'm also fishing in between the docks to see which one would play better. Um, a lot of the times those fish uh, will get on uh, laydowns in between the docks or uh, like this one, a little rock hump rather than actually the dock itself, just depending on a lot of things, pressure, feeding habits, whatever it might be. On this spot, just you can kind of see how I maneuver. I, I, there's a lay down up on the bank, so there's a chance I could catch a fish there. So I threw my little wacky worm up there, didn't get a bite, swung back around and fished the wacky worm right on the edge of the stock and got bit. Um, so there's a little, uh, like a three part sometimes that I do. Um, if it's just rock bank, don't really see anything obvious, I'll just wind that hard head down that stretch between those docks and then if I see something like a lay down, I may flip that wacky worm up there or some type of flipping bait where I can kind of uh, really uh, overwork that piece of structure. So this is a good angle to see what I'm doing here. These docks are pretty tight together. Um, so there wasn't really, I only took a couple of casts between if even that, maybe just one, uh, just depending on what I felt. but. This one came off basically right in the very center. Um, there was a bunch of debris on the on the bank. There could have been a lay down that it was kind of sitting around there, but um, that's just kind of my point that you can get a lot of bites in between the docks. And then, you know, basically after this stretch of docks here, I go around the corner and there's a big gap and there was a lay down right in front of me that I was playing to fish. But before I even got there, you know, fishing down that bank, I got bit. Um, drag along that bank. So you can also with this uh, approach fish things like this. I was fishing this stretch of docks, those little black boxes or the docks, I'm not there on the map for whatever reason. Um, but all those docks there I was fishing and then I got to this point that stuck out and because of the way I'm fishing in between the docks, I already have the bait in my hand. I fished this hump, able to catch one off of it and then kind of continue down the bank or fish it a little bit longer, fish it out and then continue down, not really uh, really wasting any time or having to jump across the lake to uh, fish a uh, different stretch. So I hope this helps spark some ideas for you if you're on, you're on a lake with docks um, to maybe fish the, the lake more efficiently, use the baits that you want to use that you think you have more confidence in. Don't necessarily have to use these baits, just um, getting you to think more open-mindedly about fishing um, between docks and not just the dock itself and jumping to the next one. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.